This tutorial explains how to generate barcodes in a mail merge using the Barcode ActiveX control. Download and install the ID Automation Barcode ActiveX control. The tutorial will assume that the control is already installed. The implementation is compatible with all versions of the Barcode ActiveX control. In order to generate barcodes in a mail merge, VBA mail merge code must also be downloaded. Download the file from the ActiveX Control Mail Merge tutorial or download the file available in the video description. Unzip the file. Once the file is unzipped, the ActiveX Mail Merge VBA file will be available. We have created a sample Excel spreadsheet. This will be our data source. Open Excel. The Excel file includes a list of employees. This will be our data source for the merge. Let's add another value, then save the file. Open Microsoft Word. Step 1. Import the ActiveX control. Select Developer, Legacy Tools, more controls. And import the ActiveX control. In this example, we will import the linear barcode control. Right click the control and select properties. The control name can be modified. However, in this example, we will leave it as barcode 1. Step 2. Import the file. Enter the Visual Basic Editor. Select File, Import File. Open the ID Automation ActiveX Mail Merge file. Once imported, this file is located in the Modules folder. If the control name was modified, then use Find and Replace to change the control to the updated name. Since we did not rename it, we will leave it as Barcode 1. However, since we named our spreadsheet column header Employees, we must modify the Merge 1. Perform Find and Replace and rename the Merge 1 field to the name chosen in the column header. Select File and Close and Return to Word. Step 3. Import and link to the data source. Select Mailings, Start Mail Merge, Step-by-Step -step Mail Merge Wizard, Advance to Step 3. Browse and open the Excel file. The column header and its values are displayed. Choose Open. Select OK. Select OK. Step 4. Print or print preview the merged data. Select the Developer tab and choose Macros. Print or print preview the document. Let's print preview. 
Choose Run. View the individual record by typing the row number. Print Preview will display the record.